Okay, we're back to do the curve of death with the new 2014.42.2 and navigate on autopilot. All right, let's see what it's gonna do here because we're approaching the curve. It's locked in at 65 miles an hour for the speed. And whoa, there's somebody right there. Is it gonna? All right, I'm, okay, it's gonna jerk me over. Look out, whoa! Okay, it's gotta turn left. Okay, it's not doing it. I had to do that. It already messed up there. I thought I would have known to get me over to the left. That was a mistake. All right, now it's maxed out, it's 50. Wait, let's bump up the max. I'm gonna bump up the max to like 65. All right, it's slowing me down now. You can see, 37, it didn't like that. It's being a little, it's jerking the car. It's not real smooth. It hasn't really done that before. It's really jerking the car, whoa. Now, let's see how we get back up the speed and, and merge in the traffic. This has been a known issue in the past. There's n there's a car right behind me. Actually, there's the car. Look, cars, whoa. Okay, well, there's nobody else behind me, thankfully. Well, overall, that was pretty sloppy, I think. And it was really, let's see if we can cut this U-Haul truck off. Yeah, <laughs> it was, sloppy and it was not smooth at all so I would have expected a lot more with this navigator on autopilot that would have turned me into the correct lane made that left turn you know so that it went the right direction but it didn't do any of that so I'm really disappointed actually in this version let me know your thoughts and be sure to subscribe like and subscribe and let me know your comments well Okay, here's the backseat driver, Denise, for their comments. <laughs> it used to do a better job with the curve of death. I've seen videos of it going on and off all smooth. <laughs> it, yeah. it didn't jerk the car around at all. And you, you couldn't do your work, it was too. Yeah, I, I was jerked around quite a bit back here.